So who remembers the groundbreaking 1960s TV classic, Julia, starring actress Diane Carroll? Hi everybody, I'm here today at Forest Lawn in the Hollywood Hills once again. And I'm here in the, I believe this is the, well, is this the Lincoln section? Actually, I think this is the Court of Liberty. I'll have to double check, I'm not sure. It's one of the uh, presidential sections here at the top of the hill. And I'm here to visit the gravesite of the actor who, I don't know if he got his star playing this role, but it was one of his, I'm sure, earliest roles, playing her boyfriend. Do you have any idea who I'm talking about? If you said actor Paul Winfield, then you must be a fan of the show. And as groundbreaking as that TV show was, they both went on to do even bigger and better things. They both had really spectacular careers. So let's go see if we can find his gravesite, and I'll tell you a little bit more about him. In 1972, Winfield was nominated for a Best Actor Academy Award for his performance in the now classic film Sounder. In 1978, he starred as Martin Luther King Jr. in the miniseries King and was nominated for an Emmy Award for his performance. During his long career in show business, he received a total of four Emmy nominations, winning in 1995 for a guest role on the TV show Picket Fences. In the 1980s, he was a regular on TV shows such as The Charmings and 227. And in the 1990s, he was a regular on the TV show Touched by an Angel. He was also the narrator of the series City Confidential from 1999 until the time of his death. Winfield died from a heart attack here in Los Angeles on March 7, 2004 at the age of 64. He seemed to have achieved just about everything an actor could want to achieve during a memorable and impressive career. But for me, one of his greatest achievements can be seen right here on his headstone. Winfield was openly gay and he's laid to rest here with his partner or husband. I'm not sure if they were ever legally married, but they were together for 30 years and now they're together here forever. And as I've mentioned before in this channel, this is extremely rare to see. For so many reasons, gay couples are rarely ever buried together. One of the main reasons is that their surviving family members often won't allow it. So it's not at all surprising to see homophobia and discrimination continue beyond the grave. It's still happening every day in this country and all over the world. LGBTQ plus individuals and couples can protect themselves after death with legal wills and trusts and by legally getting married when that's an option. But unfortunately, most people don't like to think about death and they don't like to plan for it. So their nearest and dearest relatives often get to make all of the decisions and they're not always in the deceased's best interest or what the person would have wanted, especially if they happen to be a member of the LGBTQ plus community. Sadly, and way too often, their families strip them of their dignity and their true identities from existence once they're gone by erasing any trace of who they really loved. It's really hard to believe, but the truth is, you don't even have to be alive to be a victim of bigotry like this. In addition to not being allowed to be buried together, mention of same-sex spouses is also sometimes excluded by families from obituaries and memorials and anywhere else a spouse or longtime companion would ordinarily be mentioned. In this case, Charles Gillian Jr.'s name not only appears here on their headstone, but I was surprised and happy to see that he also does have a Find a Gray Memorial page of his own. And Winfield's Find a Gray Memorial page lists Charles, or Chuck, as his spouse. Chuck's Find a Gray Memorial page says that he was a television set designer and an architect, and that he died from bone cancer at the age of 50 on March 5th, 2002. Winfield died on March 7, 2004, just two years later. Unfortunately, Chuck doesn't have a photo of himself or the two of them together on his Find a Grave Memorial page, but maybe a friend or family member will one day add a photo. As the old saying goes, Rome wasn't built in a day. In addition to being an award-winning actor, Paul Winfield was also a civil rights activist. And whether it was intentional or not, I would say he's also posthumously become something of an LGBTQ plus advocate just by being true to himself and the world by sharing a headstone with his spouse. What do you guys think? This week I want to thank my newest Patreon supporters, Veronica Capello, April Donald, and Keith Batson. Thank you so much, Veronica, April, and Keith, for your donations to my channel. 
They really are appreciated and do help make future trips like this possible. I also want to give a big shout out to all of my new subscribers. Thank you all for taking the time to subscribe. That really helps my channel a lot too. So thanks once again for sharing the memories everybody. And I'll see you next time.